Bienvenidos a todos. Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches to you all. Uh, wherever you are in this world, hope you and your family is doing all right in these topsy-turvy times, you know. Gratitude's got to be our only attitude and all that. Anyway, you could have been on YouTube watching the exact reason why you should only do gymnastics in the gymnasiums. But you can't do it. Or you can't do this on concrete. Down, down, down. Oh, oh, shit. Or you could have been watching this fool do... But I don't even know what he was trying to do, to be honest. But you're right back here with me, and I'm grateful. So, roll the credits. Right, before I get into this video, could you please like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? That helps this channel out a hell of a lot. Anyway, um, I've covered a couple stocks in this video, trading on the London Stock Exchange. They're in the green energy sector. Um, as you can imagine, uh, from this year and definitely next year going forwards, I believe there's going to be so much growth in that sector so there's a couple very very cheap plays that i'm uh, about to show you and um yeah let me know what you think in the comment section if you've already got them or you plan to i haven't gone too deep into the due diligence always make sure you do that yourself i've just stayed on the company's websites um so have a little look and then go and have a look for yourself and yeah let, let me know what you think Right, the first out of the clean energy stocks that I'd like to show you is Powerhouse Energy, uh, stock ticker PHE, traded on the L London Stock Exchange. I first bought into them at, I'm sure it was the 4th of June, so it was about three pence, just over three pence. And for quite a long time, they were just consolidating. You know, they traded sideways this whole time, up until uh it was the 15th of december and then they went on a crazy little bull run um shooting up to what did it go to seven pence so if you'd bought in around the time i did or a bit before you would have doubled your money then had a slight dip and then shot straight up to 10 pounds 10 pound 10 pence and um i was well shocked when that happened so um you would have yeah, just over three X your money at that point. And that recent spike, if I remember right, it was due to a bit of news saying that they was building the access road to the, the plant in the UK. So, you know, doors haven't opened, haven't started making any money, but investors would have still three X their money. But since then, just little bits of news coming out, nothing major. So the share price has come back down to what it is now, six pence. I'm hoping it will more go back to the three pence mark i can't see that happening but four or five i'd be happy just so i can you know really put down some money and, and get maximum returns um but yeah i'm very bullish on powerhouse energy a little bit i've taken here it says powerhouse energy group's unique technology provides a solution to non-recyclable plastics and produces a clean fuel that can help improve air quality by replacing diesel with hydrogen as a transport fuel powerhouse technology aims to be used as a at a local level providing a closed loop solution within the community for non-recyclable plastic waste cleaning up our oceans and helping to accelerate the clean energy transition to reach a target of net zero emissions by 2030. You know, going forward, this whole green energy push, I can see Powerhouse being being a pretty big name in that. Not only are they recycling non-recyclable plastics, um, they're also they're also recycling tires that are at their end of life. So yeah, they're doing very good things. Um, on another page, the company's priority is to ensure the first hydrogen facility using its DMD technology based at Peel's NRE Protoss site here in the UK meets 
the target of being commissioned and operational by the end of Q1 2022. So if they're opening then, you know, by hopefully Q2, when the earnings reports come out, they should have some good numbers to, to present, um, acting as a catalyst to push the price up. 77 sites have been identified as a potential as potential locations for powerhouse plants in the UK. The development of the UK pipeline will form the springboard for the international expansion of the powerhouse business model. And I'm not sure if you know, but they're working towards building a plant out in Poland. I think that's in its later stages, actually. So um, they're definitely planning on being international. And I was just having a look at their one of their investor presentations and I'll just play you a quick minute of it, but um, go onto their website and listen to the whole thing. It's 39 minutes long, but I'll just play you a, a minute or two of it. All right, um, I've seen an analyst predict that they see their price going to 19 pence within five years, but I'm no analyst, I'm no financial advisor neither. But if they manage to three times their price without making a penny, um, just some news of them building the access road to their plant, I think 19 pence is, is seriously low. I can see it going more than that. I'm willing to make Powerhouse one of my biggest um, stocks in my portfolio right now um, so I'm just going to start building it up towards the end of the year or make sure I'm ready for, um, towards the end of the year because I don't want to miss this one but yeah that's powerhouse energy another stock what I wanted to bring to your attention was also trading on the London Stock Exchange is AFC Energy they are currently trading for 46 pence and change um, Unfortunately, I wish I'd got in on these a lot earlier. I knew of them a lot earlier, but I didn't really know anything about them and I was busy focused on other stocks. But, you know, look at these prices, 14 pence. Um, I got in not too long ago, so I paid 40 something pence. I'd have to have a quick look and see exactly what. But oh, they've got so much room to grow. Um, they already had a nice little run and look, they went up to 80 pence and hit it twice near enough um 78 pence a second time not much has gone on since so they've dropped back down to uh, 46 pence but let's have a look at them afc energy is the leading provider of alkaline fuel cell systems for the generation of clean energy offering best in class performance and lowest operating cost as part of efforts to decarbonize industry Developed in AFC's UK research and manufacturing facilities in Surrey, its hydrogen power system use, uses a patented proprietary design to ensure highest efficiency, robust design and economic operation, whilst being free of pollutants and greenhouse gases. The company is committed to helping current and future customers achieve a net zero carbon future through continuous development and improvement of its product base focused around its core alkaline fuel cell technology. Sounding very good so far, doing good things like um, powerhouse energy. Right, I did actually see AFC appear on Top Gear the other night. Um, Freddie Flintoff was driving one of those extreme E cars around and they had to charge the car off of an AFC charge station. So that was a good bit of exposure for them. Um, says here in July 2020, we announced a collaboration with Extreme E to supply zero emission hydrogen fuel cell off grid power to Extreme E's groundbreaking inaugural electric SUV racing series commencing in April 2021. They'll be doing good things there. That's a good bit of advertisement. Getting seen week in, week out on um, Extreme E. Um, another partnership they've got. In September 2020, we sold a 100 kilowatt H-Power alkaline fuel cell system to, I'm not even going to pronounce that, uh, for deployment at its Living Lab Energy Campus showcase in Germany. Julich, is that right? Is one of Europe's largest and most prestigious interdisciplinary research institutions that is working with German and global partners to develop the campus, the first of its kind in Europe. 
It will provide a blueprint for sustainable, decentralized and integrated smart infrastructure with an emphasis on cutting edge renewable and hydrogen technologies. So yeah, they've got partners here, which you can clearly see, Extreme E, ABB, Juliet, Aciona, Athiona, am I trying to pronounce it in Spanish? Athiona, I don't know. But yeah, those are those partners that they mentioned on the website. Right, as you can see here, AFC Energy aren't just into car charging, for example. Um, they're also into construction, mining, industrial, data centers, OEM, original equipment manufacturers, and electrochemicals. So um, they've got so much customers that they could aim their products at. Um, it's unreal. I think they're going to be a big player in um, this green energy space in the coming years. Right, even looking at their biogas, the key advantage of AFC's energy's patented hydro XL technology in the, this context is its ability to receive low purity hydrogen from reformed biogas, saving capital and operating expenditure that would otherwise be required to prepare the biogas for the fuel cell. Um, I've read in many of the articles on here how cost effective they are and that's actually one of their usps um as for choosing afc over other companies because there there's a few companies i've looked at in this field but afc especially for the price is definitely one of my favorites um looking here current price is 46.70 i don't know what analysts made these numbers i don't know what the hell they're smoking it must be crack but um 59 pence in a year's forecast five years 98 um this is just one side of many that i looked at to see you know an estimation of the price in in a few years but i think that's well wrong personally you know they already hit here 80 pence um and that's before, you know, this thing's even taken off. So I don't know where they're getting 98 pence from. Yeah, whatever he's smoking, he needs to send it back. But yeah, that's AFC Energy, ladies and gents. Right, there are a couple other uh, similar companies trading in America that you could look at. Um, I'm just gonna stick with those two English ones for now, but there's also Plug Power, um, they're doing very well, but they cost a lot more than these two. And also there is Fuel Cell. And I'm actually invested with Fuel Cell at the minute. I've got about 125 shares, if I remember right at the moment. But I do plan to double my position and build one in Plug Power. Just for diversity. So I've got, got it covered in America and here. Um, I didn't want to dive too deep into those two stocks I've just shown. I'd rather you do that for yourself. Um, like I said before, I'm not one of them YouTubers that's going to break everything down. Um, I believe in doing your own due diligence. I'm simply just recommending them to you for you to, to look at. Maybe you hadn't heard of them before. If you haven't, great. I've brought them to your attention. Or I might have just shown you a couple of things you didn't know. Either way, um, do your own due diligence. Have a look and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, please, please, please. It helps me out a lot. And like the video and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video. Remember, let gratitude always be your only attitude. A lot of people are doing 10 times worse than you, no matter how bad you think you're doing right now. And, you know, those two stocks that I've shown you, they're very affordable, regardless of your circumstance. You know, I, I tend to be a bit of a hipster nowadays, going Costa for my turmeric lattes. Um, if I cut one of those out a week, well, that gets me 10 shares of AFC energy. So um, we can all afford to get those stocks. I like to show the affordable ones. Like we can all jump on it. No point me showing you Amazon, who's got three grand to buy a whole share, even though you can buy fractional shares, but you, you, you get the point. So yeah, um, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully see you soon. Take care of yourself, people. Hasta luego. Hasta la semana próxima. Adios.